Hello, I'm Judith Gates and I've been asked to give a brief description of the nine year journey I've had with my husband Bill. Bill suffers from sports related neurodegenerative disease and I've been by his side as that condition has progressed. And today I'm planning to share with you some practical advice that has been learned by experience. I think the first and most important thing that I want to say is that it's absolutely crucial to look at things from the perspective of the person to whom you're giving care. You know that they're experiencing bewilderment, you know they're experiencing confusion. It's absolutely necessary, and I found, to try and look at things from their perspective and make my responses based on how they are seeing the world. And of course, during that journey, times have changed. Right at the beginning with Bill, it was short-term memory issues, like trying to remember what time he was meeting people or what he was doing on certain days. And at that time, the important thing was to have a clear structure in our home. We had a desk calendar that he used. We had post-its around everywhere so that he could see what was expected of him and didn't get agitated if he couldn't remember. I also took advice from a neurologist who talked about helping him to keep journals, really just records of what he'd been doing every day. And that was an important help because it helped on several fronts. It helped Bill to focus on what he was doing, so he knew he was going to be writing it down later. And the other thing that we did together was that we always noted which things had been especially pleasurable. So they were mentioned in his journey at the end of every day. What then happened, which many of you may be seeing, is that his executive function diminished. His capacity to plan and to organise and to work out what he needed to do. And it was then that we moved to checklists and we moved to plans um, that were worked out with him earlier in the day and he could tick off what he had done. And that was particularly helpful. We had labels around the place so that he could be reminded of what he needed to do. It was very important for us as this was all going on to create and maintain routines and to try and embed those in the patterns of our day so that Bill got a sense of personal control even when he was forgetting things. And I found that those practical strategies, those practical care strategies that really begin from thinking of how the world looks to him and trying to help him cope with it have been the ones that are the most effective.